Hello there, and uh, I'm Narendra Kumar from Narendra Academy. And last lesson, uh, we had done rest and motion. We are doing the uh, the playlist physics concepts made simple. So last lesson we had done rest and motion. We understood that rest is with respect to a reference frame which is at rest, and motion is with respect to a reference frame which is at rest. But motion means the point is changing its position with respect to the reference frame. So that is clear. Now we come to another concept called we will take two dimensions distance and displacement. Now we have this reference frame you have this y axis and x axis. So you have this axis and a body went like this went like this from here. So this is point A and this is point B. Now if anybody asks what is the distance covered then we take this in physics we use that word distance precisely. We say that this whole distance like you put a thread and you know like, this is distance this whole thing this is called actual path followed by the object. When you take this whole thing that is called the distance. But displacement, you, that English word is also very beautiful word displacement, like the net result. What is the net result? The body did, though it went like this, ultimately net, it went from A to B. So this is a straight line, distance from A to B, this is a straight line. This is called displacement. It got displaced from A to B. It traveled the distance from A to B. Maybe we can use it, the words like that. So we have got two concepts of uh, amount of change in the position. The amount of change in the position has two concepts, two ways of saying precisely in physics. One is distance and the other is displacement. You understand? So this whole thing is distance. So obviously in this example, distance is greater than displacement. Displacement is a net result. So somebody would listen to this and say, okay, we got the concept, but why do we need two, two concepts? The, there's a very deep reason actually why we need two concepts, which, for which you have to wait when we come to the two dimensional motion, because we'll be starting with one dimensional motion first. And then we'll go slowly to the two dimensional motion. And when we come to vectors, the concept of vector, we will understand what is why we need distance and displacement. Yet, still, I would like to give a little bit of insight and concept here. We need two, two concepts here because actually, the if you see the axis, it went a the x distance was this and y distance was this. So if you notice whether he had gone like this and like this or whether he had gone like this and like this or whether he went all the way ultimately he went from here till here that has got an implication that has got an implication when we study how a two dimensional motion must be reduced to two one dimensional motions you know two dimensional motion can be broken into broken into to one dimensional motion. This is one dimensional only in the y axis. This is one dimensional only in the x axis. It is useful. Instead of trying to find out this and this, at every point I want to know how much of x distance was covered, how much of y distance was covered. That helps us in calculations, in calculations. When the motion becomes complex, there are too many motions, too many forces, then it is very useful to convert, to convert two dimensional vectors or quantities into two one dimensional quantities. Two dimensional is different to one dimensional quantity. So here, if you notice, if you say, say it went like this, so say it went like this, we can break it into two parts. It went this much and it went this much. It's the same thing. So this whole thing can be broken into two parts, which would mean the same thing. So 
If you have understood, it's okay. Otherwise, you'll get a completely clear idea when we do two-dimensional motions. Again, I repeat, we need a concept like displacement, which is actually a vector. Vector, it has direction also. This direction is important. Here, direction is not important. So, distance is what is called a scalar. And displacement is called what is called a vector. This simply means it has got direction. Its direction is important. This way, that way, this way. But distances, the total distance, it's a scalar. It has only a quantity. Distance has no, no direction. So now I'll give you one more interesting reason why this concept can be very important. Suppose you have a body. It went from A to B and then it retraced and came to C. Now, one person might be interested in the total distance travel. So then that will be this whole thing. But one person would be interested in finally where he, he is. So that distance here will be this whole thing. But the displacement, as you see, will be till here only. You can have another interesting example. You can have a body which starts here, goes wholly in a circle. It has got a, in a circle. Radius is r. The distance is 2 pi r. The circumference. But the displacement is 0. It is completely 0. So displacement and distance are two different concepts. This is this much is enough for now. We have understood, okay, you have to understand that, okay, in physics, there are two concepts, distance and displacement, the net, the net, finally, how much distance traveled is one concept, that is displacement and two dimensional motion must be reduced to two one dimensional motions. That you clearly understand when we do vectors and two dimensional motion, two dimensional motions. Okay, even if you have not fully understood it, it's okay. What you need to understand is distance is the total distance traveled. Displacement is the net, the straight line distance between the initial point and the final point. Okay, so that completes the concept of distance and displacement. Our next concept is distance leads to speed and displacement leads to a concept called velocity. So our next um, lesson would be speed and velocity and its units. So that's the next lesson. We'll meet in the next lesson. This is Narendra Kumar from Narendra Academy. Thank you so much.